Alright. Hello. Again. We, uh... We found ourselves in a, uh... Uh... Quite a large pickle. Oh. Yeah, quite a large pickle. Uh, we don't have a portal again. And... That... That doesn't look too in... Eh, too inviting. Oh. Oh. Hey there. It's okay. I got you. I got you, man. You're okay. No problem, man. Oh. oh. Okay. Um. Not gonna lie. That that scared me a little bit. Hold on. There. Thanks. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Eh. Eh. Oh. Can't. Oh, oh. I, I can make two portals. Nice. And I think we just... Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Okay. Well, from all the fan art, Catherine, I think your name is, according to what... According to what that comic was about. You, uh... I have a tendency to, uh, be a bit mischievous sometimes, I think. Here, let me get that for you. Oh, thanks, Ken. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? What? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In uh -huh. the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Uh -huh. You know... 60 years of running around this place doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely uh, adventurous. Oop. That was a little bit scary. Number 19. I'll just move that out of the way for oh, you. Yeah, yeah, this you. place really is a wreck. Yeah, is. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. Right. After that, who knows. I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Quite a hobby. Quite a hobby you get your mind set on. Well, what I was about to say is that, not, not, I don't, I don't remember if it was number 19 or after the last test you do, in uh, Portal 1, you get sent to the incinerator room. I really hope that's not where we're going. I really hope that's not where we're going. I, if, if we are, she's probably taking precautions. Old boot. Chapter two. Oh, Sorry no. about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. That's oh. Okay. 
Uh, just gonna take a wild guess and say that I should not get touched by that. Alright, this, uh, direct. This looks like a pillar. Or. Oh, okay. I have to. There's a red glow up there. I think if I. And then if I do this. No, guess not. Guess it. Oh. Well, that worked. Oh. I should have, probably should have been on that platform. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. Thanks. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Oh, jeez. Thermal discouragement beam. Ouch. <sighs> I really hope that when she says a lot, I mean, 60 years is, is a lot of time. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Okay. There should be one in the corner. Number two. Uh, okay. Jump. Yep. All right. <sighs> Made it. All right. Oh. Uh. Well, looks like he's not dead. Just uh, just grab this. Eh. Um, can we block this thing with it? Oh, oh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Yeah. That's pretty easy. You're. It's. Oh, but. You know, you know what? Never mind. I need a cube for this, don't I? Well done. Yep. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. Wow. That's what it says. A horrible person. Okay. We weren't even testing for that. Well, that's good to know. I had my suspicions, but it's good to know that the test results confirmed that. Oh well. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. Okay. If it makes you feel any better, Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh. I was wondering about that, but... Okay. Jeez, I don't even know how I can continue now. I feel... discouraged. To say in the least. Okay. Looks like we're going to be dealing with more lasers. <laughs> well, she's doing a good job in fixing the place up. I'll give her... I'll give her that. Okay, 
things, I guess. Over here. There we go. Um, suckers luck. Exile. Too many variables. That's a lot of cans of beans. You know. Speaking of beans, I'm getting kind of ooh. Vilify. Don't even try. Feels like a trivial. Weird. stuff that kicked like that Catherine Galados whoever she is slaying on me I don't even know what to do here <laughs> uh, oh yeah the cameras are watching me now great I need to get to here I think I know what we're gonna do. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Okay, that puts one of them in check. And Congratulations. Gotta... Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Uh oh. Well, great. Not only did my mother hate me, but I'm also fat. Man. These tests are really messing with my, my mental well-being. Gosh darn it. God, I really am getting hungry, though. Getting thirsty. How do you plan on keeping me alive for 60 years, Come anyway? On. Okay. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So oh. feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know I'm doing a great job. I'm clearing them. I'll take my time now here a little bit, but... I wonder how... I... As I was gonna say, I... how are you gonna keep me alive for 60 years? You got more beans, or...? I mean, I'm, o I'm okay with beans, but... Some variety would be nice. Number four. Alright. This one looks treacherous. So we need to get over there. All right. um, we need this portal to stay here. So I guess I put a blue one here. Alright. And I'm bringing you. I don't really know what you're really useful for right now, but bring you with me. And then I guess I just. Okay. And. Alright, there we go. That worked. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta 
jump here. I give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Jeez, you, re you really are putting it on thick, Catherine. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Waddle. Waddle. You know, you're being really mean right now. <sighs> Waddle. Waddle, she says. Jesus. I feel like a penguin now. A really fat, terrible person penguin. Interesting designs here. Mm -hmm. Thanks. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, well, since I got that notification, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna just end this here for now. Well, let's see what the hell these faith plates are in the future. Alright, ta-ta!